Sword and Buckler vs. Sword and Shield. What's the better sidearm? Zögert me on the right with the Buckler and Stefan with the Rotella on the left. Two weapon combinations that are prominent within the Bolognese sources. While we're sparring playfully, I'm trying not to mess around too much and go for the thrust to the head after I displaced the opponent's blade with the Manrito. After this I try to go for the leg in the exit, but that bounces off for, um, the Rotella so it doesn't really count. But in the next play I disengage underneath the Rotella and thrust towards the opponent's hand, which is, in my opinion, quite a nice strike since it stops the opponent's motion. Since Stefan and I are both Bolognese practitioners, you will see quite a lot of embellishments. But you have to take care, as always, to make your strikes and thrusts count, so not landing with the flat. Stefan seems to try a lot of thrusting around my buckler. But here he makes a mistake of not covering his head and I make the mistake of not displacing far enough, so I get thrust in the left shoulder while Stefan gets bonked on the head. After this, we fight quite a bit over control of the fight, so trying to provoke our opponent to some stupid action. And here I get close enough to strike towards Stefan's leg, but then again there is a point close to my face. I don't know if I would count it, but that's really not a too pleasant situation. So better do it like something like here and get out immediately after you struck around the shield. And the shield is just such an awesome defensive implement, so I really need to work to get around it. And here I managed to get in between sword and shield, and there's a hat, so that's quite a win. The other part that's of course exposed is the sword hand, so going for it with either thrusts or falsi is usually quite a sound strategy. Here I tried with montante and the thrust, but nothing really happens. And after I displaced Stefan's blade to the left, I strike towards the head, but there's a shield, so Hootie saves the day and we switch up our weapons. So now I have the power of Hootie and I immediately begin the play with some embellishments of course, but then trying to provoke Stefan to get again high to thrust or strike under his buckler. Because this is a smaller shield and I thought, okay, if he holds it high, there should be an even bigger gap down below. But that doesn't happen, so I go for something else. And that's a disengagement beneath Stefan's blade and thrusting around with the Bunta Reversa. Stefan does quite a nice job here of defending Falzi from my blade with his buckler. But then again I think he's a little bit too far away to really capitalize. And when we are close, he again has his weapons high, so I can strike low underneath the buckler towards his body while covering myself up with my Rotella. He makes up for it though in the next bout, when we are in a pretty similar engagement and I again lose the tempo while engaging my, with my blade on his buckler and here he strikes a reversal to my hand, which is a nice strike of course, because the fights would be over. In the next bout though, I need to have a serious talk with him, because he's not engaging my blade at all, just striking around with the Punta Reversa, which has from this angle not really a chance to cover anything at all, so that's not quite a sound strategy. You should of course always defend before you counter attack. So for the benefit of the viewer I try to change perspectives, but it's not that easy as it looks because just this little hindrance is actually quite an obstacle for myself. But I manage and my next plan is to get an Imbrocata over his shield to engage his buckler and sword and then to strike around with the Mandrito while simultaneously defending his sword with my Rotella. I'm not really proud of this next part. It started quite okay, but then I tried to thrust while also turning back and this is just no quality at all, just ugh. So I call for the last bout, try to gather all my mental capabilities to deliver a good fight, a good bout for, to finish this up. And we're fighting still for control, going into a false edge bind and from there Stefan tries to strike around. But here I parry with the Rotella 
while simultaneously striking a reverso to his hand and then quite after I try to go for the imbrocata to the head to finish this one up. Okay, so Buckler versus Shield, essentially. What do you think, Stefan? Yeah, uh, <laughs> you notice a far bigger difference between two similar shields. So I think a Buckler is way more mobile. So uh, there's no good or bad weapon in this combination. It depends how you like to use them. And uh, since the Buckler is more mobile, it allows for more vision if you use it. It, if it's used against you, you have to really fear that the opponent is moving a lot, moving around your shield, moving into your blind spot. And uh, yeah, protection-wise, I think there's not a big difference. I mean, the buckler has a smaller, but has a bigger count of defense since it's more mobile. The rotella is bigger, so it defends more, but it's a bit closer to your body, so the cone is smaller. So it, it's about the same, but the speed is the difference. Yeah, I actually was really surprised because I thought going into the bow that the buckler would have a huge disadvantage just because it's way smaller. But in the one-on-one -on -one combat, it's actually pretty much even. So there are different strengths, there are different weaknesses. You describe them pre uh, really well. And yeah, it was awesome to use the buckler in a way to deny the few um, offensive opportunities you still had with the Rotella, while also striking around and making you move, like you said, to the blind spots. Yeah, so it was a really nice experience, and I think these weapon combinations are actually pretty evenly matched. Yeah, I would say so as well. I mean, in defense, if you're a more defensive fighter, you have a really hard time with the Rotella, even though it's bigger against the Baclarista. Okay, yeah, one caveat maybe. I would say that um, using the Rotella to good effect is probably a bit easier than to fight with Sword and Buckler. So I think Sword and Buckler fighting is still a bit more complicated and needs more practice. So any newbies, I would recommend the Rotella actually. But in the end, they're pretty much evenly matched. So but maybe that's our experience because we fence way more Sword and Buckler than we fence <laughs> more Sword and Rotella. So there you, there you go. We will see in the future. <laughs> okay. So there you have it, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And until next time, we wish you to take care and see you soon. Ciao.